It's now time to think about the growing stage. Unfortunately, soybean is not a crop that you can plant and forget about. It will need attention. This includes gap filling in spaces where seeds did not germinate, weeding several times before flowering, and checking for pest and disease damage. Soybean is less prone to diseases than many other legumes, but it's good to be vigilant. The soybean should germinate in 5 to 10 days. Therefore, when your soybean has germinated, check and fill the gaps immediately. If you take too long to fill the gaps, the new seeds you sow will not be ready at the same time as earlier planting of soybean seed. If you do not fill the gaps, your harvest will be less than it could be. Given the work that you've done to make conditions perfect for growing soybean, it will not be long before weeds begin growing. Weeds will rob the soybean of the fertilizer you've applied. Weeds also take some of the water, sunlight and space available for the soybean to grow well. Weeds can also harbor and spread pests and diseases that attack soybean. Weeding can be done by using a hoe or with chemicals. The first weeding needs to take place two weeks after the soybean has been planted. The second weeding will take place two weeks later. These are guidelines. If you feel you need to weed in addition to this, do so. Use your judgment. But weeding must be completed before the soybean flowers. The process of weeding can cause flowers to drop. If the flowers drop, you'll not get grain. Using chemicals to weed can also be very effective. The type of chemical you can use depends on the type of weed you have in the soybean. Herbicides are available for pre-emergence or post-emergence weed control. If pre-emergence herbicide is applied at planting, one weeding may be required at five to six weeks after planting. When using herbicides, follow the instructions carefully. Take proper precautions to ensure that you do not inhale fumes and wear clothing that covers your skin. This will minimize the risk of contact with the chemicals. Discuss this with your agro dealer or extension officer if you're not sure. Once the crop has developed a good canopy, weed control will be easier. Keep the crop weed free through to maturity. It's good practice to always clear all weeds or bush surrounding the fields, as such bushes hide pests such as mice and rats, which can destroy the soybeans. Compare the cost of manual weeding to chemical weeding before you make a choice of which you want to apply. The costs depend on how much labor you need to buy and how much you can provide yourself. Observe your soybean farm often to see if there are any signs of diseases or activities of pests. When you see anything unusual about your plants, such as curled leaves or yellowish leaves, consult the agriculture extension agent or the agro dealer in your area as soon as possible for identification of the problem and treatment. Some common insects that destroy soybeans are whitefly, aphids, trips, cutworms, and bugs. If pests are damaging leaves, you do not always have to spray. Leaf damage will not always result in a reduced yield. Whitefly beetles and aphids appear in such large numbers that spraying doesn't work most of the time. Aphids can spread diseases. However, be more attentive because soybeans become attractive to pod-sucking bugs that can seriously reduce seed quality. To control pests and diseases, you should plant tolerant varieties. Plant early, plant in a good seed bed, and avoid poorly drained or compacted soils. Rotate soybean with non-legumes to prevent the buildup of diseases. You can also treat seeds with chemicals that kill diseases. Use one sachet per 8 kilograms of seed 
for protection against soil-borne fungal diseases. When using chemicals, be sure to follow these steps to keep you and your family and your soybeans safe. Use only herbicides, pesticides and fungicides that are recommended for soybeans to avoid damage to the plant. Chemicals can be toxic, so always follow instructions on the product package or from the agro-dealer for safe use. Also, follow the instructions about the time needed between spraying and safe consumption of fresh pots. Do not store chemicals in the same place as food. Do not eat from the same spoon that you've used to measure chemicals.